role in this series whatsoever yep. is in opening up this second quarter where we set the lineups with Beverly passing it inside for Reed. He attacks Jackson with those two fouls and lays it in. Well, but Minnesota, listen. Beverly, Beasley, Reed, McLaughlin, and Prince for the Timberwolves who lead by five. So Beverly playing alongside McLaughlin. One is 6-1, the other is 5-11. Beverly takes the lane and lays it in. Patrick Beverly, five on four right now if they hurry. Clark ducks inside for two on the foul. Always going to be in the right spot, and he's so versatile defensively, which makes him so valuable. Do not like the matchups. Beverly's got the big. Prince, Euro, and a floater is pure. But, but I like the attack. Opportunity for Beasley. Takes it in on Bain and lays it home. Chris Finch was looking for a foul on Bain. Team's house, able to walk away with some dubs sometimes. Jump ball violation against Anderson. Whip it inside for Reed. And Pat Bev has got the touch. To quickly with Minnesota, you notice that they're getting a lot of easier opportunities when they're not pounding the ball and allowing the offense to work for them. Offense hasn't been flowing for Memphis, but there's an easy bucket on the post up by Anderson. Jones, long distance, count it. In, along with Edwards, Vanderbilt in. Angelo Russell at the free throw line where he shoots it at 82%. The NBA on. Shot clock at 12. 42 37, Minnesota. No look to Edwards. Drives it in with a left hand. So much confidence for Ant Man. Bain fakes on a three. Crosses. Fade. That's nice. 10 assistant in Houston for four years. He's the same guy that was trying to prove himself as a younger man in the NBA. Chip on his shoulder, the way he carries himself, it permeates around the team. And he said, I know the way it looks, but he actually keeps the team on an yeah. even level because the assumption would be he's all over the place. Fluctuating. Exactly. But he said it's what the team requires. What well, because you don't have another he also said you don't have another personality that combats that on the team. Yeah. So what we see on the court is one thing, but then when he gets to the bench or he's talking to his teammates, he's trying to settle them down a little bit more. He understands he can play a little bit wilder while the younger teammates can. Edwards draws the foul. And like bowling pins, bodies go down. He's going to head to the free throw line. Clark and Brooks there defensively along with Jackson. Well, I think the Timberwolves have found something in, in this aspect. They've been as successful either scoring the basketball or getting themselves to the free throw line when the attack has been a lot quicker. The gaps are open, and now they're able to get maybe two feet in the paint and get a good shot. Third foul on Jackson. Fanville's free over-under contest is back. So put your takes to the test while you watch tonight's Pelican Suns matchup. Just head on over to fanduel.com slash over-under. Make your picks. Compete for a share of $5,000 in prizes. So there's three fouls on Jackson, five points, three rebounds for him. Meanwhile, Edwards just goes about his business. Nine points. Hasn't shot it well so far, but his fingerprints are all over this game. Morant, he draws Towns, push shot, good, and a foul. Gets the crowd energized, chance at a three-point play. Well, the hesitation right there, Anthony Edwards trying to catch up from behind. Ja understands that, recognizes it, but his superior athleticism allows him to elevate and then finish through that contact. Now, here's the area right here, got to clean up on. We talked about it before from the free throw line. Only two for six. We're knocking his last attempt, and he's at the line. Continues to be a problem. 46-43, Minnesota. We hit the five-minute mark of this second quarter. Edwards defended by Brooks. Tend to shoot. Vanderbilt will set the screen. 
switch it out with Clark. Lines it up. Book it. Edwards with a deep hit. 12 points for Anthony Edwards. Answer. No. Fade. Tipped up in the air. And it's going to stay right here as Clark again maneuvers around the basketball. He's just got a nose for it. Well, you know, that last play by Anthony Edwards with the three, Brandon, Brandon Clark had his hand right in his face. Close enough almost if he touches his foul. But the concentration was there. Then on the opposite end, Brandon able to hustle, understanding where the shot is going to carry him off at, get an offensive rebound, and pick up a foul. Well, missed by Clark, 65% shooter. Now watch this. Look at that, yep. right in the face, but at not phased at all. Just, like you said, just going about his business. Memphis is 9 of 15 of the free throw line. Minnesota's got a five-point lead. Edwards, ball fake. Towns, hard double comes, fights through it, and a foul is called. The fans react as do the Memphis Grizzlies. But listen, the double team is coming from the baseline, okay? Brandon Clark can't allow that much space in between 